Greg Gutfeld's commentary strikes a chord with men who feel their traditional values and roles are being eroded by progressive politics and the woke agenda. He taps into a well of frustration and disconnection, resonating with those who feel out of place in the current political climate and are yearning to rediscover their sense of identity and purpose. Gutfeld capitalizes on the deep-seated feelings of alienation and the desire for respect and recognition of traditionally masculine traits. <laughs> this is about men. You know, this is an amplified version of what's going on in many homes across America. There is a husband or a boyfriend that likes Trump, you know, wants to vote for him, but he can't say it. So the non-endorsement is an endorsement. He just says, you know, I'll, I'm just going to, when, when the wife or the girlfriend and her friends start talking about how mean Donald Trump is, he just goes to the garage and drinks a beer. That's what this is. What is the Teamsters? It's truckers. It's construction workers. These are not soy boys who shave their chest. These are guys. You, these guys. This is Trump's people. I go back. I go back to. I've said this before. People have made this about race. It is about gender. Men don't want to be in a place where they aren't wanted, and that's the Democrat Party, where their leaders cannot define a woman and redefine men as Tim Waltz, which is hilarious. These are mostly dudes. They're tough. They're protective. They're sensible believers in self-defense for their family, for their friends, for their property. And all of these traits, you know, because of the infiltration of the woke have been branded as toxic. The Dems have forgotten that the evolutionary traits of men is to protect the things they love, which include women. And the woke agenda has undermined that. I mean, look at the attack on women's sports. Look at the attacks on police and bail, which, you know, protect women. The, the recidivism of repeat offenders. That's due to the Democrats going after parental rights. These are things that men hate because in their genes, in their blood, they want to protect. And the Democrat Party is saying, if you want to protect, there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. His focus on men's evolutionary role as protectors aligns with conservative ideals of masculinity, emphasizing the instinctive drive to safeguard family, friends, and property. This idea fuels beliefs in individual responsibility, self-defense, and strong male leadership, both at home and in the community. It also reflects a broader yearning among men to find meaning in roles that emphasize power, protection, and duty. The growing criticism of these traits, often branded as toxic due to the rise of woke ideology, exacerbates a societal tendency to undermine traditional male roles masculinity itself appears under siege, with traits like physical strength, assertiveness, and guardianship increasingly framed as problematic. This shift creates a profound sense of alienation, especially among men who see these characteristics as central to their identity. Gutfeld's argument that men are being pushed out of spaces dominated by progressive politics, where leaders avoid defining basic terms like women, while men themselves are boxed into rigid definitions, captures a central critique of the left's approach to gender. Many view the Democratic Party's progressive stance on gender as one that undermines traditional gender roles, sparking confusion and alienation among those who hold traditional views of identity. It reflects a broader crisis where many men feel their contributions and roles are no longer valued as they once were. The failure of political leaders to define gender in clear, conventional terms has created a sense of uncertainty and anxiety, particularly for men who seek meaning within those traditional frameworks. Gutfeld's remarks speak to the cultural shifts that many men perceive as a direct challenge to their natural roles as protectors and caregivers. His criticism of the woke agenda and its impact on men's roles alongside broader cultural changes, underscores a social problem that many see as weakening the foundation of traditional values. His views on issues like attacks on women's sports and parents' rights point to a broader weakening of societal structures, especially regarding gender norms. For men, these changes hit close to the core of their identity, forcing them to grapple with a world that no longer aligns with their understanding of masculinity and responsibility. Many feel sidelined, confused, and frustrated as they navigate a society that seems to devalue their traditional roles, 
leaving them searching for a place to belong. Only serve to polarize the electorate further.